Hello everyone and welcome again to another English with Joseph. Well, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about business English. Now, business English is not quite the same as personal English because there's all different kinds of words, phrases and idioms which are used to capture what's trying to be said. The other thing about business English is the fact that you always have to be very polite, whereas with your friend you can say, look, just leave me alone. But if you say that at work, you could get dismissed. So, we're going to look at a few words of business English. Before we do that, I would like to advise you that, well, as you know, I'm living here in Barcelona, but I would like to advise you that there is someone here who teaches Spanish on Skype, and they are very good at teaching Spanish. So if you are looking for a Spanish teacher, or if you would like to learn Spanish on Skype, I can recommend my friend. Please contact me if you would like any further information. Okay, business English. Well, to begin, as I've said before, we always have to remember that in business English, you have to be very, very polite. Okay, so rude words, swear words, any kind of negative emotion, or any kind of emotion really, is generally looked upon negatively. So the first thing you have to do is to think about how to speak in a positive way. We discussed before, I think on a separate video clip, about assertiveness skills. With assertiveness skills, you can use phrases like, Oh, I appreciate what you're saying, but... Oh, I understand that, but... Oh, I hear you, but... So we always have to respect the other person's opinion before we destroy it. Okay. So, let's look at some words that you hear in business English. One word you hear in business English is AGM, the annual, the annual general meeting. Oh, our AGM is today. Our bosses are meeting to discuss the future of the business. Generally, staff like you and I are not invited to AGMs, but people who are very senior go to AGMs. Usually they meet with the investors or the shareholders and they discuss the future of the business. The AGM, Annual General Meeting. And then that's passed to all staff at an all staff meeting. Or it's filtered down through the command chain. Another good word, or a good acronym to know, is AOB, Any Other Business. You often see this in agendas for meetings. Point number one, we will talk about performance. Point number two, we'll talk about uh, appraisals. Point number three, we'll talk about the changes, uh, we'll talk about changes to procedures. Point number four, AOB any other business okay and that's a chance for you to raise any other issues so when all the points are finished the person will say okay now we'll turn to AOB any other business does anyone have anything else they want to discuss no that's fine lovely thank you goodbye so it's often abbreviated to AOB who do you report to at work? Well, you report to your line manager. And he usually reports to the department manager. He in turn reports to another manager who may be called the senior manager or may just be called the general manager. And then he in turn reports to another one who may report to a director. So there's always a clear chain of command, you know. 
There's many other words that we use in business English. The whiteboard for presentations is called the marker board. The paper chart that you flip over to write on is called the flip chart. And of course this here you often find in offices, the microphone and the earphones for talking with the telephone is called a headset. A head set. Okay, these are just a few words to introduce you to the subject of business English and slowly over the next few days we'll talk a little bit more about business English, people, things and expressions from the workplace. That's all from me for today. Thank you and goodbye from Barcelona.